this mic. No stress mic.com. Um, I want to talk a little bit about foreign languages. I know uh, I, I catch hell on YouTube all the time. Uh, people are ridiculing me uh, because they say I'm disrespectful by not learning the language of uh, these countries that I go to. Well, the people that are saying it think I'm only in one country. <laughs> they don't understand how I go through many, many different countries. And, uh, but anyway, um, the, and that's the thing that stops people from traveling is because they don't know the languages. And they believe somebody that's stupid, like the ones that ridicule me, uh, they believe people like that when they say um, that you're just, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're disrespectful when you don't learn the language. And uh, it's not like that. And, uh, I've, I've, and like I say, for, for me, uh, and I've mentioned, I'm dyslexia, so I'm, I'm hyper. I've got a lot of things going against me. And learning a language is not one of those things that I can do. Uh, try, I don't even, uh, I can't even remember restaurant names and, and people's names and stuff like that. So if I, if I can remember those things, I'm sure I can remember uh, some, some words. But uh, the reason I'm mentioning this is, is I'm in Thailand now. And... Uh, I, I, I really wanted to learn some Thai, uh, just you know, just some basic words, at least thank you, you know, some stuff like that. And um, Thai um, is even harder than Chinese. I thought Chinese was a hard language. They say I'm half Chinese. I can't even speak to my own family, you know, so. Chinese is, is a hard language, but man, Thai is even worse. It's really hard. And uh, if you ever see any of the writing, uh, you can you know you can see that the the writing is is even uh, difficult. I mean, um, it's it's not an easy language to read. So, uh, you know, so I have nothing to go by. I mean, this is, and when you're talking about it, just the only thing I have is sound. And uh, like I say, uh, from the war, I had my hearing blown out, so my hearing's not all that good. So you add that, I'll tell you, it's not easy at all to learn a language. And even uh, some words, here you go, I'll show you a sign. Is fine. There's some more signs. Let's see. Pictures help. But I say it's uh, the the language. Is, is a barrier. It is. As another thing that I've, I've learned because I'm half Chinese is words don't translate. And so uh, I'm always having I'm always having problems understanding. And uh, I'm really happy that I, I know English uh, because I believe English is one of the more complicated uh, languages. And one thing that I've been thinking since when I was in China the last time, that's when I figured out uh, that, uh, well, I already knew that things don't translate well, even using a translator, either mechanical or human, humans translating, uh, it's really difficult. That's why uh, 
uh, because the English language has got so many words, and the words you would think have different meanings, but in combination, uh, it gives you a lot of detail. And the English language does have a lot of detail. I mean, it's uh, to give instructions and stuff like that uh, on making the, the more uh, fine objects, the more detail you can go into to describe how to do it. Uh, many languages don't have that much detail in the language. I think that's why uh, in the United States we can create things uh, more minute type of items. Uh, because we're able to uh, um, uh, to describe what it is that we want and how to make it uh, because there's more words and uh, uh, you notice other countries they, they're best for copying so they will copy something that's already done but to create something it's, it's a little bit more difficult now they can create I'm saying they, they do create but um, the English language has got uh, more detail in it. Uh, but don't think uh, that just because you don't know a language, you don't want to go to the country. Now, there's uh, uh, some countries that will make it difficult for foreigners. Um, uh, China is one of them. Uh, they make it a point to make it difficult for foreigners. Uh, uh, I think it's a cultural thing. Um, they just, um, they've got a long history, and little of that history is good when it comes to dealing with foreigners. So, uh, and now I heard uh, France is the same way. Uh, the, they, they. They say, well, if you don't know our language, we're not going to talk to you and stuff like that. Because a lot of people know, a lot of French know English, but they're going to act like they don't understand just to make it hard on them. So there's there's some countries that are really bad on that. Thailand, at least the north part of Thailand, uh, is not like that. They are very welcoming. Uh, they're very tolerant uh, to foreigners. There's more expat here than I've seen anywhere. And uh, uh, the expat here are much happier. Uh, I've seen some expat in, um, in China, and um, there's a lot of restrictions living in China, so uh, they don't have as much happiness. But here, they're really so people moving here. Now, uh, uh, in uh, Central America, I've noticed that uh, they're, they're happier than they are, I say, in China. But I think Thailand's probably about the best. And, uh, by the way, like I said, I've only been here, like, 10 days, so uh, my knowledge is very limited this trip. <laughs> I will be back. And, uh, but I wanted to lay the groundwork when I come back, where am I going to go and what I'm going to do and all this. Now I probably will look at more of the country. I'll travel more of the country when I do come back. Uh, but um, Or maybe this might be my, my rest area uh, because I'm planning on going back to China and I'm going to be more active in China. I'm going to be doing more things. Uh, like I haven't done a lot of enough things already in China. Uh, well, it's, it's two things. I want to. Uh, I I don't really want to do more things. I want to do more constructive things uh, when I go back to China. Uh, I'm trying to get. Uh, I want to get things done. Uh, that's that's the difference. I want to I want to do things. I'll, I want to get things accomplished uh, this time in China. Uh, China has been a very difficult thing. Um, I've tr tried to do uh, uh, my hoi chi, my health work there. I've tried to start businesses there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things there that I try to do, and it is 
not inviting. Uh, now, there's, it is here more so here in Thailand, but I haven't got it figured out yet. And uh, but we'll we'll see. It's just going to take some time. It's no no big deal. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to share with you about languages. Uh, don't be scared when you don't know a language. And uh, I'll tell you one thing: when you travel out in places where you don't know the language, it makes you far more understanding. When you are in the United States and there's people that don't speak English, you're far more understanding. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.